Hey everybody, today we'll be taking a look at Darksiders on the Xbox 360. Now, this is a game that I've never played before, and all I've really ever heard about it is that it's pretty similar to The Legend of Zelda, but with kind of a darker sort of tone. So I'm really excited about it. I've always been, in case you can't tell, a big fan of The Legend of Zelda. Since the dawn of time, the armies of heaven and hell have waged an endless war. Drawn to the conflict was the Charred Council, an entity bound by ancient laws to preserve order and balance. It held that any great power, unchecked, threatened the very fabric of the universe. In time, heaven and hell came to honor the Council and its laws, for none were beyond the swift and terrible justice of the Council's enforcers. A fearsome brotherhood known as the Four Horsemen. Amid the turmoil, the first humans emerged. The Council foretold that these weak but cunning creatures would someday be integral to the balance. Thus, a third kingdom was named, the Kingdom of Man. By order of the Council, a truce was forged between Heaven and Hell. The Great Pact was bound by seven seals to be broken at the appointed time, when man's kingdom stood ready for the end war. A battle that would bring balance and determine the ultimate fate of the three kingdoms. Okay, sort of has a spawn sort of feel to it. Okay. Wow. That was a Wilhelm scream. Wow, what an introduction. Alright, press X to attack.
Okay, well. Well, the battle between heaven and hell is a little unexpected. Though, as I was saying, it reminds me a bit of Spawn. So, am I controlling war? Is that did I get that right? I don't know what's with the transformers. Okay, so I am fighting these, like, angel-looking characters. I didn't expect the super awesome powers to last forever. But admittedly, this is nothing like what I expected. I, I thought this was going to be more like a, a dungeon. You know, crawling sort of experience. I do wish I knew what side I was fighting on. I really didn't think that War would be like an impartial character in this fight. Demonic growth can be traversed. this way. <laughs> eaten too. Eaten again. Great poster. Alright, not going back that way. Got it.
still I'm still kind of just figuring out the combat, but it's it is kind of slowly showing me more and more abilities as we go. These angel guys are kicking my butt. We will not yield. And again, I always thought the the Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse would be kind of leaning the Armageddon, but it seems like I'm kind of in between the two feuding sides, because I seem to be fighting against the the demons and the angels. Like, no one seems to like me. have you done? I answer the call. Oh good, big boy fight. Thanks for giving me a weapon. I wasn't sure how I was going to hit you. He just stands there waiting for me to throw it at him. Oh yeah, now's my time. Oh, come on. There we go. I got more hits in, I just didn't get close enough. Oh, okay. Still in the car. 
First time around, only hitting three hit times. I'm not even sure what I'm supposed to do in that part. Can't seem to do anything other than just dodge during a lot of this. This is to be a harbinger of the apocalypse. It's kind of funny how puny I am compared to some of these guys. Alright, give me a car. Come on. There we go. And one for you. Oh no, my powers. Oh god. What can I do? the horsemen always have. Send me back. I will punish the ones responsible. How? 
What hope do you have against the Destroyer's armies? You are powerless. Then I will fail, and the demons will have carried out your sentence. Very well. You will return to the Earth, but you will be watched. Come forth. Alright, well that's a good place to come to a pause. Again, that was quite different than I was expecting, but it was kind of throwing you into the mix of all of that, and that's obviously part of the story. So, the combat was pretty fun though. It was kind of difficult to talk while figuring out everything, but the, the actions between the light attack and the heavy attack, not to mention there's a, a whole lot of lore that you just kind of got thrown right into. Again, I didn't expect it to feel so reminiscent of Spawn, where I was just kind of showing up between the Battle of, of Heaven and Hell taking place. But a very interesting game, and uh, one that I'll definitely want to play around with a little bit more. But anyways, guys, that was me taking a look at Darksiders. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Have a good one.